Well, well, well. It's me. I'm back. Bro, I swear. The second I started recording, there's this farmer back there, and he just happened to, like, turn on the tractor, and he start rolling around the whole place. And it's killing the audio. Cut it out. Yes, hello. It is me. It is I, Matt. I'm back. But kind of. We'll see if I'm back for sure. I'm thinking about it, all right? No, I'm just kidding. I thought I'd make a video and let everybody know why I didn't make any videos for like, you know, six months. Uh, you got me. In reality, it's because I've actually been working on a uh, feature film for the past, I don't know, months, I guess. About six months ago, I had a friend reach out to me and he asked me if I wanted to be the director of photography on this feature film. I mean, obviously, you know, that's like my my dream is to, you know, I want to be a filmmaker like full time to have somebody actually reach out and ask to work on a feature film, not only just to work on one, but to, to be the position that I've always wanted to be was was amazing. And uh, and of course, I said yes. And so for the next, I don't know, for the next like month or two months, we planned out every single shot, every single, you know, we, we found locations, we found um, you know, we found our actors and we really wanted to hone in on the style and the visual kind of imagery that we really wanted to hammer home. Um, it took a long time and it was an experience that I was really nervous about and I was, I didn't know what to expect because up until that point in my life, I had not, I hadn't shot anything that serious. Um, I'd done plenty of short films, I, I don't know how many student films in college, and this was kind of my first chance to do something legit, at least in my mind would be like much more professional. And that was, it was nerve wracking for sure. Oh man, here comes the farmer again. He's coming back. The farmer's coming back. But yeah, so over time, uh, over the next like couple months, um, we planned out everything, we scheduled everything, we got everybody on board, and in July, we started our shoot. And it was about, I think, a 15-day shoot total. Um, just, you know, back, pretty much almost back-to-back -back with maybe one or two break days uh, scattered in. And man, was that such a fun and unique opportunity that I'm so glad that I was a part of. Make it quick, brother, make it quick, please. The goats are over there, man. I'll turn the camera in a second, but the goats are watching. Actually working on set for 15 days as the DP was a very kind of experience changing for me um, because up until that point, I had only shot certain types of films and most of them low key. Uh, while this one was a, a low budget feature film, it was, it was serious. And I had a lot of expectations riding on not only my back, but on people that, that I brought on. What we were able to achieve is mind blowing to me <laughs> um, because our budget was somewhere between, I think, 15 and 25,000. I'm, I'm not 100 percent sure where it ended up, uh, where it ended up being. Um, but in my personal opinion, what we were able to do with that kind of budget was to me on par with a lot of like low million dollar films <laughs> which is crazy and I never thought that it would be possible to make something like that um, and yet we did it um, and it would not be possible without the two biggest people that were the most helpful for me on this set which was Jackson Hall who was the director who was is a great friend of mine and was super great to work with and of course the one of my closest film friends and co-workers and person I've worked on so many projects with, uh, Jaxler, who is my camera operator and my first AC, but he's also, to me, he's kind of like my co-DP. Um, when we've worked on projects together, it's almost always kind of us working as a combo where we both have similar, we both have similar visions, but we, d we have different ways of getting to the similar conclusions which allow us to deconstruct kind of what we want to do visually in completely different ways and it teaches me so much whenever I work with him and I'm so glad that he said yes and was able to come on thank you Jackson by the way you were a lifesaver I'm, I'm not kidding okay you literally saved my butt I don't know how many times on that film set 
okay? <laughs> so thank you. You were amazing. Anyway, so yeah, so after the 15 days, we wrapped and I was kind of ecstatic. And um, I learned so much and I became a better filmmaker. I became a better worker and I became just a, a stronger lover of filmmaking. I, I it just it's ingrained in my blood i don't know how to explain it other than if you've been on a film set you probably understand how it feels it's just it's just so different it's it's such a unique feeling and and i, I can't explain it to anybody but you get it okay i know you get it and just so you know i'm not lying about some of the visual stuff just look at this are you did, are you are you see, are we seeing the same thing right now because those look awesome to me hey Maybe that's just me, but I think it looks really good. <laughs> so we'll see how it turns out once it's all finished and edited and stuff. But from the, the small stuff that we have, that, that I have right now that I'm allowed to show you um, is, I think is really, really good. And I'm so unbelievably excited for it to finish and to come out so that everyone can watch it, um, which it might not be for a year or so, but when it does come out, you bet I'm letting everybody know. After I was done with the feature film, um, not only that, but you know, I have my own business and my business was growing pretty nicely and I was, I was working a lot and I just didn't have a lot of time to do these videos, which sucks because I really like doing them. For the most part, that's kind of what I've been up to is I made a movie and it was awesome. I, I can't even explain how amazing that experience was. I just, I just have to keep repeating it because it was so awesome. It was just amazing. And I'm so grateful to be able to, to have worked on that. Now, I really want to start making more of these and I'm getting, you know, it's, it's getting towards the winter time again, which is when my business slows down a little bit. So it gives me a lot more free time to work on stuff like this. Um, so I want to start making more videos. I probably won't do them every week just cause uh, I, still, I still need to work. <laughs> I still need to make money, you know? Um, so maybe not every week, but I, I definitely will try to at least keep posting semi regularly. Um, so at least there's something on the channel. And so, you know, cause it's fun for me and, and, and I, I hope, you know, people enjoy watching it. And now maybe it's not the most interesting content in the world, but to me it is okay. I could watch my own videos for days. All right. If I didn't, you know, if it wasn't, if it wasn't me, if it was like another guy, I'd watch them for sure. You know, definitely. Now here's the thing after all of that, you know, I want to get back into videos. I want to get out back in all this stuff, but I'm also working on top secret project, but it's not so secret anymore. Cause I'm going to tell you about it. Me and Jaxler, we have so many film ideas and we haven't written all of them yet, but we have one right now that we're working on. It's a short film and it's something to really push ourselves to test our skills and our boundaries. How, how, how much could we achieve with, very little and our short film is called procession and it's <laughs> first of all i'm the lead character so you're gonna see your boy act <laughs> you're gonna watch me on the big screen and uh it's about a guy i'm not gonna spoil too much but it's about a lonely guy who receives a very uh <laughs> terrifying and horrifying gift for his 30th birthday. And uh, it is really funny, it is really horrifying, and and it is a really good script, and I'm so excited for it to, for us to like complete it and make it. And we're setting up, a, I think we've set up a GoFundMe, or maybe it's a Kickstarter, I don't know. I'm not the one producing it. I'm co-directing, co-DPing, and I'm acting in it. <laughs> we have some amazing people working on it though, behind the scenes, and getting it ready, so that when we start filming, it'll go so smoothly, and it's going to be a lot of fun. So it'll be something I've never done before. It'll it's, it's going to push me to my limits as a filmmaker. And I'm really excited for it. We created, I think a Kickstarter or a GoFundMe for it. So if any of you are interested in, 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 in helping the funding for it, uh, I'll definitely put the link down in the description. Go check it out. I'm serious. By the way, here's the poster for it. Yeah, I made that me. It's pretty cool. Right. And let's say you see this, this may or may not, have a strong relevance to the story uh but that's for you to see that's for you to to learn and to watch when it's finished 
Um, so, but yeah, but if you're interested in, in something like that, or if you enjoy um, small time filmmakers, uh, then go, you know, at least check it out. At least, you know, you, you don't have to donate or anything. Just take a look at it. See if you like it. See if it sounds interesting. I know I've been lazy. I got to post more. I get it. All right. I'll try my best. You know, I'm going to do what I can to get back in the, get back in the swing of things, you know, try and make some cool stuff. And you better believe once that feature film is done, I'm posting it everywhere. Okay. Oh my gosh, dude, the goats. Oh, there's a bunch of goats right there. They just scared the crap out of me. Oh my gosh. I was, I, oh, oh my heart, dude. Woo. Okay. Anyways, thank you for watching. Now, you know what I've been doing, where I've been. I'm going to try and get back in the swing of things. But anyways, thank you for watching. My name is Matt, and this is Understanding Sigma. Peace!